Hi everyone, this is Brett Endes, the Dog Savant, dogtrainingla.com. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the epidemic of positive reinforcement trainers or tree trainers who are, you know, again, you do your thing, that's fine, we all live and let live, but the problem is that they have a lot of time on their hands and they are putting a lot of misinformation that is pseudoscience out on the internet. And then, you know, I get this all the time. I have a client right now and that's what prompted me to make this video where they have a new dog, they're just trying to do what's best for them and I'm giving them very specific instructions to follow based on a lot of years of experience of dealing with these kind of cases. And again, the retrains that I have seen, I mean, to epidemic proportions have come only from the tree trainers. And I have to always tell people, I use treats when training dogs, especially young puppies. But I find that if you're in this hell-bent way of thinking that everything has to be positive, it deludes you from seeing what the business at hand sometimes calls for in terms of how we have to really communicate and train our dogs. And I've said in other videos, dog owners who are just someone who has other things going on in their lives and they don't have the time to research all the different training and you know the Coke Pepsi wars going on in our profession, they're the ones who miss out because they get all this skewed information. Then they have someone who's actually an experienced professional like me and other dog trainers that have been doing this for a very long time and know how to use the right tools for the job. And then they'll go read something after doing a Google search that is completely contradictory to the point where we have to be on the defense to explain how we are being humane and fair and right for the dog and not doing anything that's going to cause harm. Uh, and I've always said I don't know any dog trainers that are doing this for a living or going to be exist for any period of time to earn a living if they aren't doing something that's right and in the best interest of the dog. So, got a little LA traffic action here coming up the hill. Uh, so, you know, again, the reality is, is that a lot of people, their emotions guide them to make a statement or have a certain opinion formed. And that's okay, I understand, that's the human condition and I've explained the rationale for that in other videos too. But when they speak out as the quote unquote experts and they're giving this polarized version of what dog training and dog behavior advice should be where they're trying to vilify someone who's really just trying to really help and they're the ones giving the information that's going to get the job done and that is going to be best for the dog it just makes it a lot harder for us than it needs to be. And I only put these videos out not to be on the defense or not to attack, but to just point out that it is not helping dogs or their owners. Even if you have a differing opinion, can you maybe try to present it with a little less emotion and a little less of this pile on attack, politically correct driven way that if it's not the way that you see it or the way your emotions tell you it needs to be or should be, you think anything other than that is bad and horrible. And that pretty much is a lack of open-mindedness. And if you want to label it, it is narcissism. And I do feel that narcissism is a big thing that gets in the way of our ability to see reality. Uh, and that's the essential requirement to be a good dog trainer. Uh, so I just wanted to say my piece because I deal with this quite often and I wanted to put some, you know, um, a rational explanation to you know if someone maybe is looking for a dog trainer and they see this video and they hear what I say maybe they'll be able to see between the lines you know in terms of the information they've got in front of them you know and make their own more objective decision versus getting their emotional heartstrings put in because nobody wants to be bad to their dogs nobody wants to be a dog abuser so that's what these people do you know they try to make you feel that if you're not doing it that way you're this horrible you know person that the animal rights you know people should go after and never be allowed to own an animal again I don't want to be extreme in my explanation, but that's what I find a lot of people are doing. So I wanted to paint a, a picture of that. Okay, I've said enough. It's four minutes here. So again, I'm Brett Indies, the dog savant, dogtrainingla.com. Please subscribe, visit my website, and